I'm Sheree. And I'm William. He's my boy. And he is a smarty pants. And he's going to talk to you guys about some Disney facts today. So, do we like Disneyland? No. Because we love it! We love Disneyland. We have taken a few vacations there as a family. And I've been going since I was a child. And I just love it. It's the most magical place on earth. And it makes me so happy. We went on our last vacation there. It was November 2019. So a little before the pandemic started. And we are just so ready for those gates to open and just know that everything is going to be okay in the world again. I have, I have faith that once Disneyland opens, the world's gonna, gonna go on. So, all right. So William, do you um, want to share us, share with us your favorite thing about Disneyland? Well, it's only about a little bit since it's all right, but I think my favorite thing about Disneyland is probably Frontierland. It has so much theming, like around Big Thunder Mountain, you can see rock formations, because it's, uh, it's rock. It's like a big mining company. You can see horse hooves in the ground, because... Horse hooves? Horse shoes, sorry. Horse shoes. <laughs> and, uh, because they used horses back then. And you can also, and it's just so fun to look around and, uh, at the boats going around. Specifically, Mark Twain, and it's just great. What about you, Mom? I agree. I love Frontierland, but my favorite thing about Disneyland is the music. I love it when you are about to enter Disneyland. The music greets you, and it just hits the fields right in the right in the heart. And I remember one time when probably William was a baby, I crossed the security line, and. I just started crying because I knew I was there and I was so happy. And once you hit uh, Main Street USA, you just you just know that you know you're in Disneyland and it's just magical and everything's gonna be wonderful. And I just I just love it. The music really brings me home. So William, are you ready to take this this show on the road? Absolutely. All right. park is everyone can agree that the most important is uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle. In fact it's so important I even made my own. But we aren't here to talk about that now are we? We're here to talk about how important and for the purpose of this video interesting it can really be. Now the first fun fact about uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle is that it's backwards. No, you aren't. There isn't a secret entrance in the park that you can go in from the back side of Sleeping Beauty Castle. No, I mean it was actually placed backwards, but intentionally. Here's why. The Herb Ryman, the Imagineer mainly responsible for the building of it, was toying around with a little miniature figure of Sleeping Beauty Castle right before a meeting with uh, Walt Disney. And what he did uh, sparked the history of Disneyland forever. He decided to turn the model backwards just to see how it looks. And wouldn't you know it, that's right when Walt Disney himself walked in and he liked it. He thought it was really good. So they kept it like that. And now we have a backwards Sleeping Beauty Castle. A second fun fact you probably didn't know about Sleeping Beauty Castle is that it's in sort of a way an advertisement. Not like one you see on the side of the road, but more of a sneak peek you might see on TV. You see, we all know that's based on Sleeping Beauty. How is that an advertisement? Well, <laughs> fun fact, it's because Sleeping Beauty wasn't made yet. <laughs> Originally, it was supposed to be Snow White Castle, or whatever you would call it. It was 
supposed to be the Snow White Castle. I don't know what it's called. But Walt Disney had the idea to make it Sleeping Beauty Castle to uh, advertise the new movie coming out. So now it's Sleeping Beauty Castle. You could probably put this last fun fact to pretty good use when you're at the parks. We all know the scene if you've been there. You're walking through the castle, then you go through the veil of darkness in there. Then you emerge at the end and you're in Fantasyland. Well, right now you're either grinning with delight or you're confused about what I'm foreshadowing. <laughs> well, if you have a sharp eye, you might have noticed in the veil of darkness for mentioned, you see a flight of stairs. Well, if you go on those stairs, you'll find a beautiful rendering of the tale of Sleeping Beauty as a walkthrough. It's pretty good, and when you go to the parks, you ought to stop there. But it's stairs, so yeah, you might not want to. <laughs> Your choice. So, I hope you found these Disneyland facts interesting. Maybe so interesting you'll put them to use when you're in Disneyland again. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will try to answer them. And like this video and subscribe to Click With The Flicks. See you next time! <coughs> we all know that. Here's something you didn't know. For this final fun fact, you can probably put... And no, Beauty Castle, you could probably put the. Ah! All I didn't know about this wonderful castle is that it's. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the reins and talk to you guys about some Disney facts. He just lost his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back to Click with, with the Flicks. flicks. <laughs> what was that? <laughs>